<laughs> uh, live here with one other guy, uh, Basti, German exchange student. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> so today I have a class uh, starting in like maybe 30 minutes, practice drama surgery. So I'm just about to make some breakfast and jump on my bike and head to uni. So how long have you been living here? Uh, it's pretty, do you want me to tell you the story how I got the place? Alright, uh, well, basically I got it, I got to Hamburg in the start of August. And um, basically I was looking for a place for a really long time. Because before I got here I was looking, I sent maybe a hundred emails and no one's replying. And I'm like, oh, I'll just get to Hamburg and then I'll figure it out, something will work out. And then um, I got here and couldn't find any place and I was getting a bit stressed about it because university started in about three weeks. And so basically my buddy, uh, her friend lives downstairs in this building and her flatmate was away, Patrick, to, uh, visiting his parents I think in Poland. And um, I was staying in his room and my flatmate in this, uh, in this room came down, I didn't know him at the time, and asked if uh, I could help him move a mattress into the room. So I was like, of course I'll help you move the mattress into the room. <laughs> Obviously someone had moved out and uh, we got along, we went together in the car to get the mattress and just laughing and got along. And when we got back he asked me if I wanted to move in and boom, that was it. <laughs> I was really happy because I didn't have to really do any work at all when I was so worried. <laughs> and now, and I have some new neighbors, you know, <laughs> straight away I know the neighbors. <laughs> so that was lovely story. Lovely story. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> My mum was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and I was very, very lucky, I think. Say hi to your mum. Oh, yeah. Hi, mum. <laughs> Doing the dishes, finally, I guess. <laughs> Actually, I really hate dishes. I would rather have a machine to do it for me. So this kind of pains me to live in Germany without a dishwasher. <laughs> but I'd be more independent, you know? You've got to do your own dishes and shit. <laughs> First thing I did when I got in this room, my flatmate went away. And he's like, man, don't forget to water the plants. I'm like, yeah, no worries. He's like, no, I've got that, that's fine, I'll remember. They both died like straight away, just didn't water them at all. And then he came back, he's like, dude, the one thing you had to do was water the plants. So, it survived though, I mean we saved it. We put some water on it and it seemed to seemed to live a little bit, but I don't know, I almost feel bad for cooking with its leaves because I've put it through so much pain already. <laughs> so it just kinda exists. <laughs> kinda just exists in the house. I mean, it's a basil thing, so you just call it basil. You don't call it basil, I just made that up. I call it basil. <laughs> but whatever, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna have a shower now, because I just woke up. It's a good way to start the day. So this is your bathroom. Yeah. Pretty, pretty basic. I mean, can we say hello know. into the mirror? Yeah, of course. Both. Ah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Your face is like destroyed with it. Is it right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's what you expect for a two two bedroom uh, apartment, you know. I'm happy with it. I don't need much to survive. Just the basics. So I mean, I don't need to live like a king. Just need a uh, prince. Like a prince. <laughs> just, okay. Just need what I need, you know, to get by. <laughs> Don't you have a bathroom playlist where you. <laughs> uh, I think I feel like some. Alright, okay, I've, I've, I've got it. You'll know.
What up? <laughs> So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll we'll go. Wait, no. So I'm gonna get dressed and we'll have some breakfast and then we'll get out of here. <laughs> nice. Then you got this. That's fine. Instant. Probably kill a man for a real machine. That is no lie. Actually, if I want a good coffee, I go to my local coffee shop here because my friend downstairs here works there, which is really cool. And what about the tattoo house you have downstairs? Hmm? What about the tattoo shop you have downstairs? Oh uh, yeah, also I have a local tattoo shop that I live on top of. So if I wake up and feel like I need a tattoo, I can have one done by lunchtime. <laughs> Which is nice to know, you know? Sometimes you wake up and you're like, man, just get a, just get a tattoo today. <laughs> Probably the most important step of my day is this moment right now. Usually I don't um, have coffee in the morning, but usually in Australia I don't have a class until lunchtime. <laughs> so now on Wednesdays in Germany I have coffee in the morning. <laughs> Just for that little bit extra, you know, to wake me up. Although the, the ride to uni wakes me up as well, because it's so cold at the moment. So by the time I get to uni with a coffee and, and the ride, I'm pretty much... Uh, it may as well be 12 o'clock. <laughs> Quickly. Yeah, I don't mess around. <laughs> yeah, I know who it is. Actually true. Yeah, it's true. Huh? Yeah. This is the morning track on the way to on the way to university. Take right this only here, you know? Yeah. Nothing of California. <laughs> yeah. I mean I like all kinds of music. Like electronic music and you know alternative music and new music. There's something about you know 60s, 70s, 80s music. You know, it's good to listen in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got down on my knees and I began to pray. You know the preacher likes the cold. He knows I'm gonna stay. California dreaming on such a winter's day. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. California dreaming. Such a winter's day All the leaves are brown And the sky is grey I went for a walk On a winter's day If I didn't tell her I could leave today California dreaming On such a winter's day Australia? Uh, I'm not too sure yet. I would like to stay in Europe for a while after my studies because I'm here now. <laughs> it's like 27 hours to go back to Australia by a plane, so I think I want to stay here as long as I can. So maybe I finish my studies next year, June or something like this. So maybe I go do a European summer somewhere, would be nice, and then go and travel and visit the friends I've made while I've been in Germany. 
Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they live in Spain. <laughs> Madrid. In Madrid. Barcelona. <laughs> uh, so my part of the project is to make some interviews with all the exchange students. Um, just a background information. Basically creating a, char uh, a character arc. How they felt before they came to Hamburg. Uh, what they thought Hamburg would be like. Then getting to Hamburg. Uh, was it what they expected? Are the classes the same? Uh, how was their experience of uh, the university life here as compared to home? How do they think they're better from the experience and what will they do after they finish? Questions like this to sort of, you know, figure out. Because everyone has different reasons for why they're here and I think it's very interesting. Uh, people coming from such different backgrounds together, studying different things but, you know, still having a lot in common with the other exchange students because it's, it's much bigger than just studying, you know, it's an experience. So especially if it's in a country where you don't speak the same language and it's a different culture and I don't know, I think that's very valuable no matter what you're doing in life to put yourself out of your comfort zone because I mean the only constant you can rely on in life is change, you know? <laughs> like, so. What color are you doing with one hand? You're an expert. I'm an expert, yeah. Oh, I'm choking now. <laughs> Just a tiny bit of milk. And then the trick is to stir it slowly and off the heat for a while. Making it, you know. That's it. Wow, what a breakfast, you know. Yeah, man. I think it's, oh, it's the most important meal of the day. <laughs> yeah, if it's like that. Maybe some fruit as well, you know. So maybe you just have a little something for lunch and then. Yeah. Always good to have some music when I'm riding.